everyone and welcome to this tutorial. Today we're going to talk about Authorize, which is one of the most popular free Burp Suite extensions. So this extension basically automates the process of detecting authorization vulnerabilities and can thereby save us a lot of time when searching for IDORs. I personally use Authorize all the time. I have in fact used it to find numerous serious vulnerabilities. So we will start off this video by describing the theory behind Burp Authorize and then we will practice using Authorize on Juice Shop to find IDOR vulnerabilities. Alright guys, let's break down the process. So the first thing we need to do is to log in as user A, and then we want to copy the authorization bearer and the cookie belonging to user A, and then inserting it into Burp Authorize. The next step is that we launch an incognito window, and then log in as the other user, in this case user B. Now, as we're logged in as user B, we want to basically test all the CRUD operations that are available in the application. In the next step, Burp Authorize will send three requests, the original, the modified, and the unauthenticated request. Now, let's break it down. The original request is, as the name indicates, the request that belongs to user B, meaning the request that contains the authorization bearer and the cookie belonging to user B. The next one is the modified request, which is different because here we have replaced the authorization bearer and the cookie belonging to user B with the authorization bearer and cookie belonging to user A. All right. The final request is the unauthenticated request, which is different because here we have removed the authorization bearer and the cookie altogether from the request. All right, guys. So now we know more about the theory. So let's move on and do some penetration testing on Juice Shop. So as you remember, the first step was to log in as user A. I've already prepared two accounts. There we go. Now we have logged in as user A. And the next objective was to get a hold of the authorization bearer and the cookie. So let's turn on the intercept. Let's refresh until we find the authorization bearer and the cookie. Yes, here we have it. So let's go ahead and copy the authorization bearer first. We navigate to authorize. We paste it here. All right. Next, we copy the cookie and paste it in authorize again. All right. So now we have both the cookie and the authorization bearer. All right. So let's turn off the intercept. And as you remember, the next step was to launch an incognito window and then log in as user B. So let's do that. User B. There we go. So now we have logged in as user B. So now the next step is to turn on authorize and basically click around in the application and test all the CRUD uh, functionality that exists in the application. Okay. So let's go ahead and just click uh, one of these products here. There we go. And as we can see, this uh, click generated our get method, uh, get request, where we are basically fetching the reviews for product one, which is this product here, apple juice. Okay. And here we can see that uh, the authorization status. So basically we have a red line here, meaning that we have found uh, an IDOR. It says bypassed. And then we have another yellow line here uh, where it says is enforced, basically where you need to manually check uh, if this actually is an IDOR or not. Okay, so let's just dig a little bit deeper. Let's collapse here and we can see the modified request and we can see the original request here. But let's have a look at the responses, which is more interesting. Uh, here we can see status success. So we basically managed to get all the reviews. So basically all these here, all the reviews uh, belonging to uh, this uh, product. And here we can see that we on the original response, we see the same result. Okay. And even the unauthenticated response is the same here. We see the same 
response although we don't have any authorization better or cookie as we have in the original request as we can see here uh, and in the modified request okay so this is a shorter request basically without the cookie and the authorization better so essentially this means that user a user b and the unauthenticated user is able to fetch the reviews and to read them so the question then remains is this an idor uh, probably not the thing is that these reviews should be available to all users okay one could argue that it should be only available to logged in users i don't know uh, but nevertheless uh, this should be available these reviews should be available uh, to all users so although it is saying bypassed i would not classify this as an idor okay good so let's do something else then what happens if we try to add a review for instance okay i hate apples all right we submit and there you go we have a lot of red lines here we can see that uh yeah the get request we have already talked about here we should be able to view the reviews but then the put is a little, a little bit more interesting because here we are actually adding the review okay so here we can see in the modified response we have status success meaning that we successfully or we managed to add a review successfully and then we have the same in the original uh, response but what is even more interesting is that the unauthenticated re uh, user is also able to add a review which is of course this should not be possible basically so let's recap what have we actually done here um, we have managed as you can see here all the reviews is in the name of user b so we have three reviews okay so let's break it down we have the modified request which is basically the put request but using the uh, authorization bearer and the cookie belonging to user a okay using this request we were able to actually add uh, a review which should not be possible because it means that user a is able to add a review under the name of user b which basically means that user a is impersonating user b moving on the original request is basically the the correct request or the request that we are uh, yeah the normal one basically so we don't need to dig into this one but the un unauthenticated request is as i mentioned very interesting because although we have removed like the authorization bearer and the cookie we were still able to add a review now this is very concerning of course because it means that a user that is not even logged into the application is in fact able to create a review under the name of user b all right guys so that concludes our short introduction to authorize i hope you have learned something valuable today if you want to support this channel you can like subscribe and turn on the notification bell see you in the next one